Hi everyone, you're with Lucy from Art Shed Angel and Lucy's Craft Cafe and I'm going to do a page today using alcohol inks. So this is going to be lots and lots of fun. So if you enjoy my video, if you can please make sure that you click that subscribe button and do, look at the link below and also you can, are so welcome to join Live Art Journaling and Self Development which is our Facebook group that I do with Jolene Payne. So we do live videos in that group and you probably enjoy that too. So thanks very much, let's get started. Okay, now what we have here is I have my um, journal pages open. This is the Dilutions journal and it has been gessoed. Now I have put two coats of gesso on this and I've allowed this to dry. Now this is one of the pictures from my website you can download. I'm also going to be making a stamp from, not quite this big, but I have downloadable artwork on my website that um, you may like to have a look at because it's great for doing little projects. So this is a rather long video, so I've sped it up for you. What I'm doing now is using a charcoal pencil on the back of my um, photocopied piece of paper so that I can transfer her onto the page. So just make sure that you hold it down firmly, maybe use a bit of tape if you need to. And I'm just going over and just every now and then lift it up to have a little look and make sure that everything is there. Okay, so that's all good. So now I'm going to take my alcohol inks and this is the extender that I'm using which just is just clear. I'm putting that down and just wetting the page down a bit. Now I've just found out that my page isn't all that dry so we will get a little bit of bleeding of the um, gesso into the, the ink. But that's okay because it'll just lighten a little bit. So you can see here I'm just using the blue going carefully around the edges and I've added some purple here. And I'm just doing an up and down action because I'm going to do some texture to it a little bit later. So I've been very careful around the girl to make sure that I have not covered her face at this stage. If you do just make sure you wipe it away with some clean alcohol. Now I'm doing some stippling of just the clear alcohol just to make that background kind of look a little bit washy and watery and it, it does actually help. So all that is is alcohol on the end of my brush and I'm now filling that space with a hat with a lovely pink colour and some purple and I'm just filling it all in. Doing sections not close together because that way you're not going to have bleeding from one into the other. So every time something's dry then go closer. And I'm putting some lovely metallic brass in here as well, just swirling it around. So each section I'm going to do individually. I'm putting her dress in a purple colour, but not painting right into the corner. I really want to um, have an effect and you can see here just using the Q-tip with um, some alcohol on it you can get like almost a pearl effect around her neck. Now with her face I have mixed a brown with a light uh, with the pink the pink that I used in her hat. Now make sure that you put enough alcohol in this because um, you really need to make sure it's very very light and if you have any issues with it being too dark in sections you can grab a paper towel and just dab it up or get your brush with some alcohol and lift it back up again it's really important that you don't do it too dark to start off with so it's layer upon layer of you can see I'm just building the color up and it's so important just to build that color up and make it darker as you go So now I'm doing her hair and I'm just using the brown here. I've done that a little bit too dark. You can see how easily the paper towel actually pulls it back up again. So make sure you have paper towel there when you're working. I'm really loving how the alcohol inks do work on this um, gessoed surface. So it's, it's really, really nice and it has not bled through to the next page. So now I'm just going to fill in that background behind her hat. Now I didn't do that before the hat because they could have bled into each other and I didn't want that at that stage. 
And now I'm also darkening around her face. Now I'm using the same purple as I used on her dress, but if you can see here that I'm just blending it. Now I've let the face, because it's so thin, dry a little bit before I've done this. But you can see now her face is coming forward because we're darkening the background. It's always good with portraits to, um, to do this, to actually have your background in as well, because you never really know how dark your skin color is until you get a background. So here I'm putting detail in, and this is easy and it doesn't bleed because my areas are drying so fast. As you can see, it's sped, sped up here. Now I am using here a um, permanent pen and I'm just putting her detail in and it's just a black um, permanent pen. Putting her lips in and I'm using a lovely red for that. And her eyes in the blue. Now I just went outside her eye a little bit and I just wiped it up with the ink. So it's really important that you do that. And here I'm just putting some little bits of colour because I had that there and adding some more sh shading so it does allow itself to add it's quite um, a lovely um, medium to work with now what I'm using is a stencil and I've got my um, little brush thing here the foam pad and I'm taking away color so rather than adding it I'm actually taking away the color and just giving a bit of texture to the background and I've decided I really want to make her look out of a window. So I've just drawn in the window and I've decided I was going to paint the window brown, but then I decided I would actually take some ink away. And so again, you can take the ink away. That's so, that's so beautiful about these inks because I've done it on a gessoed background. And now what I'm going to do is I'm really wetting, putting some wet ink up the top in the blue it's a different blue to the original blue I used and I'm letting it run down because I want it to look like it's running down the window so I'm just doing that filling in a little bit more making her seem a bit more forward now I think that I want it to be a bit of a rain scene so in that background there I've done a little bit of a ground and now I'm drying it off because I want to put detail in it, but I don't want it all to bleed. A little bit more detail with that pen. It's so much easier to do detail when your ink is dry. So I'm drawing in my window very roughly. This is really gesture drawing, so please don't make it you know don't get the ruler out and I'm just doing a gesture drawing here of a man standing in the rain because I feel like she might be looking out the window waiting for him to come home from work and with the alcohol I've actually just bled that a little bit as well and here I'm using my Signo pen and I'm just doing some little highlights and bits highlights on the side of those um, droplets that are coming down so that they look like they're shining on the window and this here is, I don't actually have a black, but I'm putting some dark, well, I suppose, buildings in the background because he's coming home from work. Drying it off again. A little bit more highlights and some, some um, windows in that scene. So keep darkening the background till you're happy with it. It's quite easy. And here I'm actually adding some yellow, which was a really bad choice. I didn't really like the yellow that I added here. So I got my brush and I dulled it down with a bit of the blue. Because I, I did want it kind of to look like wallpaper on the wall outside the window. Or on the inside of the window, sorry. But I didn't really like it once I've done it. So now I've got some Copic markers and I'm doing some extra detail with the Copic markers. So Copic markers are also alcohol based so you can put use the marker and blend it with your alcohol. And you can see there I end up with a nice smudge looking line. And I'm just adding that little bit of detail here and there. So this is what finishes a project when you add those little touches and also adding some brighter areas to that hat. And I think 
queer little person. So she's waiting for her husband and her child, I decided, as I was doing this. It's funny how as you do an artwork, you start to get a little story happening. And I've put highlights there with the Signo pen and I've done some dark areas in her hair with the Copic marker. Now I have a um, jelly print sticker paper that I've done there and I'm writing some words and this is a really bit of a motto for me at the moment um, that just waiting is okay because sometimes you're always in such a rush so she's just standing there waiting so I'm just cutting this out and it is on sticker paper I do like to do jelly prints on sticker paper so I can do that I'm edging it in a pink and I can stick that straight on the page so now I'm doing something here that you may or may not like but I really wanted to marry the whole picture together so I'm just doing some swirled kind of backgrounds in the same pink that I have in her hair or in her hat and I just I just kind of did this because I wanted to have that alcohol ink look and a little bit more of that I don't know the essence of alcohol ink in here so I just you know put that in and I really like it let me know whether you think you liked it too so please subscribe to my page and join art journaling and self-development if you like what I've done I really really would love you to like my page and also share it with others thank you so much you're with Lucy